show that the function given by f of x is equal to sin x is first one increasing in 0 to pi by 2 second decreasing in pi by 2 to pi and third is neither increasing nor decreasing in 0 to pi so before going to solve this let us see the graph of the sin x and cos x in 0 to pi So from the graph it's very clear that in 0 to pi by 2 it is increasing and again it's pi by 2 to pi it's a decreasing and in 0 to pi we can just consider that it's increasing and decreasing in an interval. So in 0 to pi it is neither increasing nor decreasing. So let us study this problem how can we solve this question. So either you can go with two methods like first for x1 less than x2 for x1 comma x2 belongs to real numbers so we have to show that f of x1 is less than f of x2 for increasing function and for x1 is less than x2 implies your f of x1 is greater than f of x2 this is for increasing function and here this condition is for decreasing function let us consider in x1 comma x2 belongs to 0 to pi by 2 in 0 to pi by 2 in an interval we will consider x1 and x2 such that such that x1 is less than x2 say here is the point x1 and let us consider here is the point x2 so for x1 is less than x2 you can see very clearly from the graph the f of x1 f of x1 is smaller than f of x2 so which implies that sin x1 is less than sin x2 it's very clear that for x1 comma x2 belongs to 0 to pi by 2 the graph sin x1 is less than sin x2 so which implies that f of x1 is less than f of x2 so which implies that f is increasing f is increasing in interval 0 to pi by 2 okay and now let two different values alpha comma beta belongs to pi by 2 to pi such that alpha is less than beta so you can see in the graph very clearly that say this is alpha and say this is beta so f of alpha is here at this point f of alpha and here corresponding point on the curve this is f of beta we can observe that for alpha is less than beta f of alpha is greater than f of beta we are getting so for alpha less than beta so which implies sin alpha is greater than sin beta because it's a decreasing function there so sin alpha is greater than sin beta means we can say f of alpha is greater than f of beta so it's a condition for decreasing so we can say that f is decreasing so in in pi by 2 to pi f is decreasing and 0 to pi by 2 f is increasing and hence we can conclude that in, in uh, 0 to pi in 0 to pi f is neither increasing nor decreasing neither increasing nor decreasing constantly so by using your this one of the method first method we can solve this and let's solve by another method by using your derivative principle since we know that f is a increasing function if f dash of x is greater than 0 and if f dash of x is less than 0 decreasing increasing for f dash x less greater than 0 decreasing for f dash of x less than 0 let us use this principle since f of x is equal to sin x 
and differentiate it. So we have f dash of x is equal to cos x. And cos x is, we know that cos x is positive. So in which quadrants? If we take 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 2 and pi by 2 pi, 0 to pi, cos is positive and cos is negative in pi by 2 to pi. So cos x is positive in x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 and cos x is negative in pi by 2 to pi. It's very clear, we know that. Or even you can see in the graph also, the cos x graph is positive positive from 0 to pi by 2 from 0 to pi by 2 it is positive and again from pi by 2 to pi you can see that the graph is negative that means it is positive in the interval 0 to pi by 2 means increasing and again in the negative in the interval pi by 2 pi means it is decreasing since the derivative is positive so that is f dash x is positive here f dash x is positive and here f dash x is negative. So here it is increasing in the interval 0 to pi by 2 and here it is decreasing in the interval pi by 2 to pi. And hence also we can consider that your f of x or f is f is neither increasing nor decreasing. neither increasing nor decreasing in 0 in 0 to 5 okay this is how the answer can be given okay, thank you